We are talking about working upon the Holy Spirit. We should, we should work according to the Holy Spirit. Don't know what according to you. We're going to read in Galatians. Galatians chapter 5. If somebody had a uh, uh, read for us. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 17. Amen. We are going to stand up. Says the Amen. Amen. Je dis donc que marcher selon l'esprit et vous n'accomplirez pas le désir de la chair. Amen. Car la chair a des désirs contraires à ceux de l'esprit et l'esprit en a des contraires à ceux de la chair. Ils sont opposés entre eux afin que vous ne fassiez point ce que vous vouliez. As the Swahili, uh, uh, the reading for us in Swahili, Pastor can read for us first to Peter. First to Peter. Kwa sababu mwili utamani ukishindana na roho na roho kushindana na mwili kwa maana hizi zimepingana hata hamwezi kufanya mnayo yataka amen amen Amen. Pierre chapitre 2 verset 11 Amen. Bien aimé, je vous exhorte comme étranger, voyageurs sur la terre, à vous abstenir, à vous abstenir des convoitises charnelles qui font la guerre à l'âme à l'âme. Amen. Petro a pili, au quoi ça? 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 Pipili kumina mwani Kumina mwani na soka na sikatina la Yesu Wapenzi Na wasika Kama wapitaji Na wasafiri Siyepukeni tamaza mwiki Sikiganazo na ro Amen Amina I will read in English Dear friend, I urge you as a foreigner And exile to abstain from sinful desire Which war against your soul Amen Amen. Now, so much of the topic we saw about the Galatians. In the book which Apostle Paul and he wrote a book when he was in the third mission as a Christian. That's when he opened the church in Galatia. In the church in Galatia, he got a lot of complaints. According to how people behaved in church last night. Amen. And when you read the book of Paul uh, from, uh, from Paul to Corinthians, so you see, he was writing those letters to those people for the church which he opened as he was working in the And all the time when you receive a complaint, according to the church which he opened already, he used to write He write them letters. He was writing letters to, to respond to the uh, claim which he was receiving. And, and after opening the church in Galatia, when he left, 
after him some people they start preaching and they are preaching against what he was telling the church before and the way people were so when you are when you put up and the majority of people now what you they left and even leave faith which was preached for the first time and accept the wrong preaching and that's a sickness which we have in the church today. There's so many preachers. There's so many preachers. And everyone uses their And there's those who are weeks. They embrace and accept. And they change even what they used to believe. And that's the 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 gospel. And that the 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 gospel Jesus Christ is the only one who take you in the channel. That was the apostle. He was telling them. He said this. And so I say what by the Spirit and he will not gratefully uh, uh, great, great fee, uh, the desire of the sinful nature. And he was warning that your behavior let your behavior be different from the people Your behavior. And in your life may you be led by the Holy Spirit. Because when you are led by the Holy Spirit, then you don't want to fulfill the desire. When you walk according to the Holy Spirit, so then you will be a winner according to all the desire of your friend. And the Bible was so interesting. Now the Bible insisted saying, the sword and your, 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 the desire of the flesh are two things different. Now, so they, they, they are in the war. They are in the The desire of the flesh. Watch your flesh. And watch your spirit. two different things. And they are in conflict. And they are pushing the church. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we wrote the book of Peter, he said this. Peter chapter 1, verse 1. 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 Peter chapter When you see somebody say, I bless you, I beg you. I'm really begging you. Please, you don't miss this opportunity. Please, don't waste Is what you will be doing on earth. Somebody say, when you sow in the flesh, what are you going to arrest? You will not arrest. 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 We are walking in the flesh. Most of the time we obey for what the flesh is telling us to do. In, in Romans 8, 14 it says, 
Dieu, de Dieu, son fils de Dieu. Yeah. All those who are led by the Spirit of God are children. All those who are Anybody now who works in flesh, who are children are those who are. Anything which you buy in the street, you buy in the street. Anything you pass on your eyes, you pull it and they give yourself. Haina shukrani hata kama. So your body will never be said to be you. Haina nisika kata siku mocha. Your body will never be said to be you. Unachua kuna watu wengine walikuwa nakambia kwa nyumba sinifikasyo ya leta. You know, uh, bad home people used to tell me like the government. But the government used to say that they don't have to say that. Just keep it. They don't have to say that. They don't have to say that. But I want you to stand up and discipline up and then you will be And when you decide to then you become a child of God. I want you to tell the church of God. We are falling in temptation of the enemy all the time. Because we are working as blind people. Let me tell you this. What are the ways? Uh, so many people. Let me use just you. They get married today or tomorrow. And after one year they divorce. Why? They saw the guy is a kind of guy. And there's a guy who tried to put it in. And he sees that God, the guy, has to wash him. He saw the girl who speaks to him. When he asked me, he said, she lives in Kin, she's our neighbor to President Kabila is all the only one. And you were with him. But after one year, they divorced. I wanted to, uh, to, to advise the church. Pray God. To get married to God. I got married to God. But I want you to respond to a person. Give me a few moments. Because when I read the book, and he sent me in the book of Exodus, it's numbers. Yeah. It's numbers. 22. I want you to go home and read Numbers chapter 1 And it's a story of Barak and Balaam Barak and Balaam were the two kings of Israel Yes, they were the two kings of Israel They were the two kings of Israel And 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 they were the two kings of Israel they are going to the promised land. They they approach it. They are going to go home. And when Balak saw it, he was afraid. Because he was like, "Oh, oh, 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 these people who want to invite to my country, those people, and as you read the Bible, when they send a message, they go with gifts. When they are there, and you 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 are don't go. Hallelujah. Amen. But as you love, as you are the Lord, 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 as you are the Lord,
everything to God. And they used to destroy us for those who don't have when I try to compare the church and today's church, I will say the church of today you have three foundations. Three things which support the church of today. The first one, uh, hypocrisy. hypocrisy. That's the first foundation with the church standing The second one, uh, you see, you see the clothes somewhere, but you don't know what it's thinking inside. And the third one, that is the vision. That's how the church of today, that those are the foundations of the church. And that is the, that the sickness which is killing today's church. I will love Pastor to read for us. Trust John uh, 3 15. Yes. Yes, first John 3.15. We read in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you find it in Swahili. Amen. 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 I like this verse in English. Na ipenda i a a na ipenda i mo kwa kigereza. Anyone who hates a fellow believer is a murderer. Who is it? A murderer. And you know that no mother will enter, uh, uh, will, uh, no mother have eternal life in them. Hallelujah. Whoever hates a fellow believer, what the Bible says, church, is a mother. When you hate the brother, the sister, you pray as a subject. When you hate the the Bible says and calls you as a mother. It's no pastor. 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 You know, sometimes we sit down. And then we start speaking about the laws. Na tunata kumilea sheria. Tuko na states marikani. But the laws are different among those states. Tuko na umwa marikani, tuko na mamita, masita, masita. Lakini sheria zina kishana. Yeah, but when you come to Texas. Lakini ushakia pa Texas. And then you have a murder case. Na uko na kesi ya uwachi. Your punishment is. That's a dead life. No, you'll be punished for a dead life. A person who takes a dead life. What a good one. When you are in the Marrakes in Texas, you deserve a dead penalty. You deserve a dead penalty. You deserve a dead penalty. I want to just say, when you hate your brother, you are murderer. And when we bring you in front of you, you are murderer. You are what? You are like a walking dead. Amen. I want to say, brother, there is so little things which we can do. But those Vita Kwenda Kutukosesha Uzima will really make us miss everything. So who are those who are who hate others? Only those who are not led by the Holy Spirit. Amina. Kila mara pastor na kwenda kumuliza kanisali. Every time pastor he goes to ask us to share. And he says, Mwabe na sauti za juu. Pray loud. Mwabe na sauti za juu. Pray loud. Na lakini wako wako kini juu. But he goes in a moment. I just want to respond to that. You know, the devil, he already resting, he's resting already, and he put his, his, uh, his leg upon him, and he's watching. You know what? 
Wakati kanisani wanaposema when in church they say tukemee nguvu za kisa let pray uh, let let cast out the, the demon amen amen bahari tupigane shetani instead of fighting the enemy mimi kwa jana sema leo wakati ti amfunga katika na Yesu au am saying i'm casting out the demon shetani wako unamwona kwa jirani yako wewe iko kazi you see your devil in a Je vous dis d'avance, comme je l'ai déjà dit, 
Mm -hmm. Ceux qui commettent de telles choses, mm -hmm. n'est littéralement point de l'homme de Dieu. Amen. 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 Can you wave your hand? Can you wave your hand? I will ask each and everyone Take your soul With whatever we wrote here Did you find yourself somewhere? And if you say in all There's no way you will find yourself May God We 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 Wala chochote kilicho cha kulimwengu Mtu anaye upenda kulimwengu Upendo, upendo wa baba Hawezi kuwa tani yaki Kumi na sita Vitu kiyote cha kulimwengu Tamara mbaya za mwili Vitu wanazo kiyona Watu na kufitamani Majifuno ya sababisha yo Na mani Vyote hivyo Havitoki kwa baba Bani vyatoka kwa kulimwengu Ulimwengu pamoja na vitu yake kiyote Kutamani unapika Lakini mtu atendaye Atakalo mungu anaishi hileni Amen Basta pachulia katika kifarao sana Mais vient du monde. Et le monde passe et sa volonté de Dieu. Mais c'est lui qui fait la volonté de Dieu de l'heure Amen. Ni ma oyo tena. It just has a warning. Wana kwenda kutupatia. They are killing. Wana sama. It's safe. Wakati unapopenda mali ya dunia. So when you love the things of this world. Wakati unapotamani ya yale ya dunia. When you envy the things of this world. Mapenu kwa ya baba. To the love of God. Ya kwenda kupunguka na ni mwaku. It goes small. Kwa kuwa. Because your brain is going to think on the world when you sleep. You are just dreaming about the world. When you woke up, there's no time to pray. But all the time, you are spending your time looking for what in the world. Uh, what the uh, Say vanity or vanity, everything it is. Amen. Mwanadamu, hana kwenda kufaidika nini. Kwa kazi ambayo, hana kwenda kufanya maisha yaki yote mzimu. So what are you going to benefit for what you do all your life? Tunapika na tukitafuta pesa. We will want to find money to look for a baby. Hile siku ambayo, unapo nazo hapa. But the day they put you in a casket. Hallelujah. Let me tell the church. One day I went to a funeral where my uncle passed away. At home. You know the way they arranged the night. They already put something in my uncle. A very good shoe which he loved much. But his, his, his son stood up and said, Where are you putting that good shoe? Where are you putting it? No, 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 you better bring the shoe. I'm going to use it back here. Whatever you find, you work working hard. But what you is the moment we spend in God's presence. And so the thing we spend in God's presence is when we accept sacrifice for everything we need to decide. Then we receive the eternal life. Amen. 
Wanakwenda kufilea pia kuhusu ubaguzi.